While the principle behind the process of the production of China clay remains the same as in William Cookworthy's day, naturally there have been great changes in stepping up that production. And who better to talk about the changes than Ern Gay, who has spent his life in the China clay industry as his family and his father before him. Now, Ern, the differences between the production of clay when you were young and now must be quite great. Oh, the main difference was the fact that it went from manual labour into the machine. It powers motors and big lorries, everything mechanical. The clay was washed out in my day with the hoses, which was gravity. Gravity fed. Gravity fed. Today, it's the big uh, monitors, which uh, the nozzle three times as big. Where we used to load it with the wheelbarrow and long handle shovels, you know, into the trucks for four point seven a ton. Oh. Nowadays, it's all done with a machine, into the big trucks and the big lorries, and well, life it's much easier. Now, when you started, what was you, 14 years old? Yeah. What was your first oh, job? Oh, cattle boy then. You cattle boy? You started as a cattle boy. What was that job? In the, well, the cattle boy in the lodge. Yeah. It's called, but there's a cattle boy in the canteen. See, if you do about a couple of years of that. What did you have to do? Oh, warm the pasties, get oh. the tea, <laughs> run errands. <laughs> you were the lot. Well, they really fussy about their pasties then. Well, some of them. Yes. Some of them, uh, not too hot. No. Others again, don't burn the <laughs> pasty, you know. <laughs> now, after Kettle Boy, uh, well, you're 16 years old, you move on then a bit, Spud. Move on then, you're promoted into a tool boy at the time. Oh, what was that? You go down and fetch the tools from the pit and get them up to the top of the blacksmith shop to get you sharpen the picks and some would break the shovel sticks, you know. And, and of course, you all had to have a lot of method. Oh, the oh, methods of yeah. that the way it was clear, we'd dump them on the skip yeah. wagon and they would take them up. What was that old saying you told me about in clay? What oh, they... well, what the head does lack, the feet must trot. <laughs> they what... could use that in many other things as well. <laughs> That's right. Well, then, of course, later on, I suppose you had to take a man's job then. When you're 18, you take a man's job and yes. you would stand with the other men then. And the sort of men that you had to work with, they were... Well, tough and strong and yes. love, yeah. But they weren't good. malicious people, were they? Not at all. No, no. Not at they all. They liked the no. good... Well, they liked Firm. to work hard and they could Firm. play hard too, couldn't they? And they used to bring their families up that way too. It's a good industry to work for still. All perfect, yes. Yes, yes. yes. It's not really got the same um, dire risks as, say, mining. Oh, no, no. Every safety precaution is on the works today. Yes. And it improved as time went on.